Hello everybody and welcome back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel. In our previous video we went over the dead simple installation of the just released Manjaro Linux 16.06. .06. Today we're going to kick the tires a bit and take a look at this uh, distribution that has been my daily driver for well over a year now. Uh, so let's get started, let's log in and take a look at what Manjaro has to offer. Manjaro Linux is based on Arch Linux, one of my favorites. Uh, right away we can see um, certain things that are happening. We see the welcome screen pop up. We have the update manager telling us immediately that there are 39 updates available. Indicated also by this uh, the change in the icon down here. That's the update manager. We're going to go over that a little later. But let's get a little background here. Uh, what we're running is 16.06. Uh, Manjaro 16.06 um, named Daniela. It's the XFCE version. Manjaro Linux is based on Arch Linux, one of my favorite uh, Linux distributions, uh, period. Uh, Manjaro again is my daily driver and has been on my main office PC for well over a year now. It's been a very good experience overall. Um, if I had to rate it out of 10, my particular experience uh, definitely rates very highly. Uh, Manjaro, what they have done, uh, you'd have to know a little bit more about Art. So let me tell you, Arch Linux is lean, mean. It's a great learning environment. And uh, I say that because Arch Linux, uh, pure Arch Linux, has to be built from scratch. Uh, Everything has to be installed via CLI. Uh, there are some workarounds with uh, different bootable disks that will help you along the way. But um, the real hardcore experience of Arch Linux is you, you boot up the system to a flashing cursor and you install the system from scratch. Um, this is positive in many ways in that you know exactly what's going into your system. There's no extra fluff installed or bloat. Uh, the system is configured by you uh, from the get-go, so you pretty much have an, um, a very deep knowledge of your the workings, the inner workings of your operating system, and the performance is second to none. The disadvantage is for a lot of users, this might be a little bit too much. Uh, so what we have are distributions like Manjaro. What Manjaro does is it takes the excellent Arch Linux base and ships with pre uh, configured uh, graphical environments. In this case, we're checking out the version that comes with XFCE. And uh, what Manjaro has done is I think they've made some very good and uh, very smart choices, both in terms of the included software and the quantity of included software. You're not going to find the kitchen sink here as you will in some other distributions. You're going to find a few useful tools, pretty much one tool per task, uh, maybe a few more than that, depending on what you're looking at. But it's up to you. Adding packages and software is quite simple. It's been improved, actually, in the latest version, 16.06, uh, .06, over the 15x versions, and uh, the package manager. And it, it's just a smooth, very fast, very responsive system, which allows people who are interested in the Arch way of doing things to hitting the ground running uh, very quickly. As we showed in our last video, the installation is a breeze. Uh, now let's kick the tires a bit. As with all the other Manjaro releases I've used over the last year or two, uh, the Manjaro welcome page comes up with some very good links towards uh, release information forms and whatnot. If we go into the release info, we'll have a look at this really quickly. Uh, the XFCE edition, which we're looking at today, uh, according to Manjaro, remains their flagship. So this is the this is the release that they're uh, that they're putting out in front of all the other ones. I know that there is a KDE uh, release as well. Uh, kernel 4.4 LTS is included. Manjaro is also um, separates itself by a lot of the Linux crowd by offering a number of kernels to choose from. Uh, I believe this release there are 11 different kernels that you can choose from. While this choice may be daunting and a little confusing for new people to Linux or you know, people have been in Linux a short period of time, you don't really have to go there. The included kernel is, uh, is quite good. And uh, for the vast majority of people, I don't think you really need to change, but it's good to have that flexibility. Um, it says here that uh, a lot of the tools have been improved and polished, which we'll see. Manjaro Settings Manager, 
great easy to use graphical interface uh, much like uh, OpenSUSE's uh, Yast or the uh, settings manager for the Ubuntu base releases okay um, a lot of other things that are here uh, the package manager PacMac PAMAC, sorry, has been improved uh, significantly. Uh, now offering um, details for packages. Uh, there's a dependencies view. Um, admittedly, some other distributions already have package managers that have all these features and have had for some time. Uh, but uh, the Manjaro release is definitely caught up and are doing things very well. Uh, not to mention uh, the AUR, the uh, Arch user repository. Uh, which I'll go over a little bit later. So let's get started, shall we? Let's look in the, in the program menu. Uh, a couple of favorites here, Terminal Emulator, File Manager. For File Manager, Thunar 16.10 is the one that shipped out of the box. What we have done with this installation, we haven't updated it. We've just done the installation, and you're seeing what ships out of the box from the ISO. Uh, Manjaro is a rolling release. So what that means, uh, being based on Arch, what that means is you install once and through, um, you know, frequent updates and continuous updates, you will always end up running the latest uh, distribution. Um, and uh, it's fairly cutting edge, actually, as Arch is. There is a danger that some would say that uh, being so cutting edge and having updates so frequently that there might be a lot of breakage, but... I'll be honest with you, I have had only one issue in the time I've used Arch, um, excuse me, Manjaro, and that was with uh, Cinnamon, an issue with one of the config files that at one time didn't allow Cinnamon to start, Cinnamon being my, my GUI of choice, and that problem was solved within 24 hours, so I just ran XFCE. Uh, I'm, I'm a user who always installs more than one GUI. Um, I usually have XFCE, Cinnamon, and KDE when I want to play around with something. But Cinnamon is my go-to, so not much of a problem right there. Um, you have a mail reader, your web browser installed, which is Firefox, a very common choice. Uh, once again, anything that you see here can be altered in that um, as with any other operating system there's a plethora of different applications uh, Linux does you can install Chromium which is Chrome Opera which is one of my favorite and uh, a lot of other browsers which also exist as we move on you have the uh, add remove software tool where you can do a search for example I can search for Chromium Here we have it. Uh, very simple to install. Just click and click apply and it will install. Once again, click apply and Chrome, or as it's known in the Linux world, Chromium will install. Uh, very simple. Repositories, multi lib state, orphans, foreign pending groups. Uh, this is uh, the category view for applications that you can install and the search pane. Very simple to use. Very so here let's go with the recently used we have favorites all accessories I like how things are kept very simple very fast not a ton of software which is great I prefer that LibreOffice games we have Steam which is installed by default for graphics LibreOffice again GIMP and uh, uh, image viewer internet Firefox hex chat Steam, Thunderbird, uh, very good uh, email and news groups program, multimedia with the various ones. I probably would install, I like Clementine or something else I would install, but they're all here. You have uh, volume controls and all your uh, accessories that you need for your daily running of your operating system. Office, we have LibreOffice, the full LibreOffice installed, uh, which is what I use even on the Windows platform. For me, this is a great plus. Uh, again, with Manjaro, you get the Arch Linux base, but you get to, you, you from opening up the box, doing the installation, out-of-box experience is much like any other distribution, Ubuntu or otherwise, where you can hit the ground running and become 
productive almost immediately post install and here we have settings all the different settings power manager panel performance settings system again there is some repetition but it's okay it's not uh, in any way terrible or anything like that in fact I like it quite a bit it's it's done right you have the software update uh, of course the terminal and a lot of other things here it's uh, something that I got used to very quickly uh, with Manjaro and I appreciated very much was the performance the performance is definitely uh, noticeable very quick we're already running in XFCE which in of itself is a um, a very lean um, graphic user interface uh, and even though it's been modified a bit by the Manjaro people it's still quite uh, effective and uh, quite um, fast the performance is, is basically off the chart on a modern PC which I like very much uh, before I go into the settings actually I should go into that right now here we have the settings manager Settings Manager contains all kinds of stuff you can do with your system. Uh, you want to uh, window manage tweaks, you want to change your resolution, um, want to adjust your keyboard, removable devices, power manager, accessibility, uh, and then we have uh, Bluetooth adapters, we have another settings editor where you can add and do stuff that you want there. So all in all, uh, they've gone through great strides to, and I might get lambasted for saying this, to kind of simplify the Arch Linux experience. Yet, they haven't moved so far away that they've become something else. This is Arch at its core, uh, but Manjaro, the developers have done, I think, a bang up job of, um, of creating this distribution. So let's continue with the features. Down here, we have a Clipman, Clip Manager, which I like. Um, in every, whether it's Windows or whatever Linux distributions I have installed, um, I always seem to install a clipboard manager. And it's good to know that it's running. You have the multiple screens you can go to here. You have uh, networking, of course, VPN connections, Ethernet networking. You have the volume control. Good, you have the uh, update manager telling us the 39 updates available and I'll go through that and show you how simple it is to update your system. Uh, battery indicator as this uh, computer is on a UPS time and uh, easy way to log out or shut down or reboot or hibernate or whatever. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, to me it suits me fine. I, I really like the performance. I love the stability, yes. Cutting edge can be stable, and the Manjaro people have proved that to me. Uh, and I just love the fact that it's always there and ready for for me to to uh, be productive. Sit down, don't really think about it. It doesn't become a hindrance to me. It actually facilitates my productivity uh, by being so simple and straightforward. Um, there are a few other uh things that pop up for example uh you can't see it now but there's a pop-up that will tell you when new kernels are available but generally when you run the update tool you will be uh, given the option to install those so let's run the update tool right now of course it synchronizes and synchronizing the package databases which it did very quickly it's telling me i have 39 updates vlc wayman xconf uh, a new kernel is available which will install since I'm using the default 4.4 I see that I'm using 4.4.12-1 um, and it's telling me that 4.4-13.13-1 is available uh, so definitely I'll, I'll do the upgrade it's just a matter of clicking apply it's telling you transaction summary. It's going to install if there's any extra things that are going to be installed. Commit. And off you go. You're off to the races. So, what can I tell you about Manjaro? I can tell you that it's definitely worth a try. Give it a try on your system. Uh, in particular, this version will work on older computers pretty nicely. 
if you have that uh, Core 2 Duo sitting around, I recommend 4 gigs of RAM as a comfortable starting point. Of course, the system I'm running it on right now is a is um I'll tell you it's uh, I believe it's an A10 7850 uh, AMD APU with 16 gigs of DDR3, and it's running fantastically. I'm using the proprietary AMD drivers, uh, which are quite easy to deal with um, and install. And uh, I can't say uh, I've had many issues except for that aforementioned uh, time that I had a problem with Cinnamon starting up. But again, that was something that was fixed very quickly. Um, I run dual monitors. Uh, I can't say much more. I mean, the system just runs and that's all you really need, especially if it's your main PC at work or at home in your office. You want to turn it on, sit down and not have any surprises. So that's my uh, review, an overview of Manjaro Linux, uh, something that I can recommend wholeheartedly. I've had a lot of experience with it, and I think that if more people give it a try, uh, they'll realize that simple is better. And uh, good thing about it too, the update uh, situation, I'm very much attracted to the rolling release. I do understand the potential pitfalls of rolling release versus, you know, uh, update cycles uh, but Manjaro has proved that the rolling release um, uh, paradigm can be uh, done and approached and executed um, very well and I'm very happy with this so if you like this little review give me a thumbs up uh, please don't uh, don't hesitate to comment subscribe tell your friends about this channel and we'll have more videos to come various hardware as promised a few videos ago we have some reviews of some headphones and uh, other things coming up and uh, we'd like to see all of you check us out on our facebook pages uh, technology and computer enthusiasts we have silicon nubin the company webpage, and we have a blog on blogspot so we'd be love to see you check us out and uh, keep checking back for new uh, videos as they come available thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe take care